the Wacom control panel's main pen settings area, which you can get to by just selecting the pen rather than the functions, so click on the pen to select it. In this main setting area, there are two sections on the left here for tilt sensitivity and tip feel, also known as the dynamics of the pen tool. It's quite hard to understand what these do without actually using the pen, so I'll demonstrate this for you in Photoshop. Please don't try and follow along yet, I just want you to watch and learn for now. Now when using a brush in Photoshop that makes use of the dynamics, like this one here for example, and I can check that it uses the dynamics by clicking on the brushes palette and just checking that shape dynamics is switched on. When I use a brush that takes advantage of that, I can press lightly to create a light stroke and heavier to create a darker stroke. And you'll see I can vary the darkness and the weight of the stroke by pressing harder or softer, which is really, really nice. So changing the tip feel to hard will allow me to make thinner and lighter lines, requiring more pressure to make the line fatter and darker. And changing the tip feel to softer will allow me to create wide and dark strokes with very little pressure. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just jump back quickly to the control panel to show you how that works. So at the moment I have my tip feel at firm and my tilt sensitivity at high. And that's the way that I like it set up. If I go to the default setting, which is probably about 50% of each, and go back to Photoshop, and click and draw again, you'll see that I'm pressing just as lightly as I did before, but I'm getting much darker and stronger lines. And if I go back to the control panel again, and put it all the way down to soft, and we're just going to have a look at tip feel for now, you'll notice that even if I press really lightly, I get thick, dark lines. And if I press really hard, they're very thick indeed. And in fact, it's actually quite hard for me to create these light grey lines that I created before when I had the hard settings on. I tend to press hard. I tend to hold my pen very firmly and press very hard. So I tend to get very dark lines. Because of that, I tend to have mine set to firm. Now you may find that, you know, maybe about 50% is fine for you. But for me, I need to have a firm setting. And as I said, that allows me to create these nice, light, sketchy lines that I just can't create if I have it set to soft. So that's what the tip feel does. Now, there's no right or wrong setting here. You'll learn to adjust this to suit your own drawing style. As I said, I hold my pen in quite an odd way. I grip the pen tightly and wrap my finger around it like this when I draw. And that makes me press quite hard. So my pressure sensitivity is quite hard to compensate. If you draw with a lighter touch, set that option more towards the softer end of the spectrum. So as a general rule... Softer settings for those with a light touch, harder for heavy-handed sketchers like me. Now notice if we go back to the preferences that you can also set the tilt sensitivity and that will determine how much the pen is affected by the way that you tilt it. You'll see that as I'm tilting, I'm getting different weights of lines as well. Now if we go back to the control panel again, you'll notice that I can also test it in here. I can just click... And I've got this little pressure gauge here, which allows me to see how hard I need to press to get up to full click, if you like. So if you feel that that's too firm, you can bring it down a notch. And that way I don't have to press quite as hard. Now remember, pressing hard like I do is going to wear your nibs down more quickly. So it's probably not the best thing to do to press hard, but I'm afraid it's a habit of a lifetime that I just can't change. So that's a little bit about tilt sensitivity and tip feel in the control panel.